I'm Galen Plotic. And we are Clear Vision. And we're very happy to be a part of this wonderful new collaboration between the Brockton Symphony Orchestra and the Brockton Public Library. We're both members of Brockton Symphony and we sure miss playing with our colleagues, but uh, it's nice to have a chance to bring some music to you today. Um, we're just going to take a little musical journey across a few centuries with a lot of different variety and there's really no better place to start than with Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, you know, many people consider Bach the world's greatest composer of all time and um, whether he was writing for one person or a full chorus and orchestra and organ, it, the music always seems, you know, perfect. So well, I'm going to start with a movement from one of the unaccompanied Bach cello suites. He wrote six suites. Um, this is the prelude from the unaccompanied suite in C major. <laughs>
I play a couple of uh, three different tr keyboard transcriptions from um, different suites that, that Bach wrote. Uh, we're going to play a beret from the French, uh, fifth French suite, and then we're going to play an air from the second French suite, and then we're going to play a G from the second English suite. So here's a beret, air, and G.
Austria, and uh, to a duo by Mozart. And um, this is the this is the rondo from the G uh, G major duet that was written for um, violin and viola. And um, Mozart was a violist. I'm sure he, this was just a little little party music for he and his friends. And, I probably wrote it in an hour, but it's still an amazing uh, piece of music. <laughs> so, so here we have the rondo from the G major duo.
composer named Michael Glier. Glier lived uh, 1875 till about 1956, I think. Uh, lived, um, just wrote a lot of music. Uh, was an interesting fellow. Had had some famous students. He he taught uh, Prokofiev when Prokofiev was young. Kachaturian, and also um, Kuspitsky. And uh, in, in the early, the very early um, 20th century, I think 1909, he wrote a group of eight duets for violin and cello. And we'd like to perform three of those for you. Um, the first one is called Cradle Song. The second one is Canzonetta. And the last one is Intermezzo. Yeah? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
cross the ocean and uh, go to uh, one of the first really famous American composers, Scott Joplin. Um, you know, we all know Scott Joplin for rags. He was the king of rags. He, he, the Maple Leaf Rag is probably the one time the most popular song in the entire country and really provided him with an income stream for the rest of his life. But he wasn't the best money manager. And um, he wrote two operas. And the first opera was called uh, A Guest of Honor. It was written in 1903. And um, the score of the opera was confiscated because he hadn't paid bills. And, uh, and it was lost and it was never performed. So we never heard it. He did write a second opera, um, Tremont, Tremont, Tremontisha, I think, Tremontisha. Anyways, uh, it also was never performed in his life. It was finally staged in 1972, and he was awarded posthumously a Pulitzer Prize for this opera. But we know him best for uh, rags, and uh, so we'd like to play uh, The Reflection Rag by Scott Joplin.
Mr. Joplin. No. Um, First, okay. Um, now we're going to go to uh, a composer uh, named Jeremy Cohen. Jeremy's a violinist um, based in San Francisco. He uh, was a founder of Quartet San Francisco. He's a big freelance uh, film score uh, performer in LA. And uh, he's written eight uh, what he calls stylistic duets. They're kind of jazzy swing, and uh, they're real fun. So we want to play two of them for We're going to play something he calls strong, and we're going to play a habanero. Thank you. 
Thank you. 